Good afternoon. This is Apostle Dolores Kendrick coming to you with Hope Lives Here. And I am trusting you are having a fabulous morning and afternoon. I am just going to share with you some things. Been on my heart because I've seen um, some things happen during this time that uh, as we go through all that is happening today in the world, I'm seeing some people become very stressed. And um, I want you to get a hold to that. And I am going to pray <clears throat> that God will give you a, a direction, will give you a strategy to avoid becoming so stressful that you are becoming ill or you're a short patient or you are finding that your emotions is being affected, that your um, <clears throat> your mind is being tormented. And I know we've talked a lot about this, but it's a continual thing that's happening over time. You know what to do, but sometimes it's difficult to find the time to do it <clears throat> in. And so somehow we have to, especially believers, we're going to have to ask God for a strategy to to help us. I know that the workplace is demanding. We are uh, working in a different way now. We're working uh, using all the technology that we can use. We're not going into work. And sometimes where <clears throat> it seems as though that would be a um, easy thing or a better thing, sometimes it could be uh, not too good because we don't know when to pace ourselves. We don't know how to stop. We don't know how to take breaks. We don't know how to take lunch periods. Uh, we're on the um, uh, Zoom and whatever we're using, we're on it on a continual basis, three and four hours, and it can become very stressful. And we need to um, have some type of a uh, balance, some type of a balance, knowing, uh, knowing exactly, you know, how, how far to, to take this. So, and I know that it's, it's not easy, you know, as you're, as you're, uh, you're working and all, it's a demand for you, but God has not um, uh, allowed us to be connected to anything that there is not a balancing or, or, or some type of a, a strategy where we can not that we can care for ourselves and so father I just pray right now father before I even share that Lord if we do no more this uh, day except pray pray for those father God that are heavy loaded at the workplace Lord God where they're not that they're not careful they become workaholics and father the demand upon them in Jesus name father God I just go before them right now I send the spirit of the living God to lift the weight to lift the pressure he called of asunder oh to lift the pressure someone just got free hallelujah to lift the pressure and the weight father God off of them in Jesus name their mind, Father God, that's constantly going. Even when they're sleeping, they're still working, Father God. Even when they're with their families, their mind is on their work. Father God, I break that off of them now in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we want to be good stewards on our job. But I speak, Father, a balance. I speak, my God, hallelujah, that there is a a strategy, Father, that you will give to each one, Father, that they will not push and push and push so much, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak, Lord God, even over the workplace, Father, that there's a settling, there's a peace in Jesus' name. Yes, in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the protest, in the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of all the floods and the hurricanes and the fires, in the midst of it all, there is a peace, hallelujah, a calm that calm Comes, Lord God, over the workplace and over those, <clears throat> Lord God, that are finding themselves, that are just glued, just 
stuck to their computers and stuck to their, their, their work, Lord God, where the workload becomes even heavier than it has before. Father God, I speak, Lord, you're the only one that can do this. And so right now, I speak to them, their minds, peace be still. I speak to their emotions, to their heart, Lord God, to every area of their being right now. I speak peace, be still in Jesus' name. Father God, I speak, Lord, of the rushing and the talking fast and the moving quick. I speak peace, 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 peace like a river, Flood the soul right now. Peace. Hallelujah. Come over them in their vehicles, Lord. In on the buses. Father, in their office space. I speak peace. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we give you praise. And we give you glory. Oh my God, that we will eat right that we will get the sufficient amount of sleep and rest that we need because these are targets from the enemy that seemingly uh, is, a, is, a, uh, is okay, but it's not. It's distractions. And even the fleshly things, Father God, that cause us because of our temperaments, because of the way we were put together, that we push and push. I speak. Peace be still in Jesus' name. And Lord, that we will open up our minds to hear the direction, to hear the settling, Lord God, and working at a slower pace. Yes, the job will get done. I speak a slow pace, much slower than what we have been rushing into because it's a trick of the enemy in Jesus name and I thank you I also speak Lord to the mind that guilt does not come and sometimes we think that we're lazy because we're home and then as we sit and begin to be still no no we want to live out our days because there's a job to be done but we want the peace to settle in now in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it today. Hallelujah. As Christians and believers, we are to be hard working workers. Yes, we are. But we all need rest, saints of God. We need rest. We are never to have our workload so heavy that we're rushing and running and here and there. It's a trick of the enemy. And this happens, this happens when we find ourselves in this particular um, uh, place we are in the world, in America, in our states, that we are, are stressed because we are, we're on Zoom, we're on technology, we're using what we can use in order to continue our work and we can become in, uh, not balanced in it. And so we are going to do better, aren't we? We're never going to allow our workload to hinder the relationship that we have with God. So sometimes we just have to stop and just breathe in and breathe out and just breathe in Christ and just picture the Lord and just ask his presence to come upon us and then go back to it. But let's, let's, let's pray and ask God to give us a strategy, even our workplace, a peace over our workplace, that we will not be running to and fro, rushing, 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 and become so stressed and so bogged down with so many things, so many things, so many things that we're doing. Yes, they're all necessary, I know. Yes, you would say, but Apostle, you don't understand my work. No, I don't understand your work, but I do understand God. I understand him and I know that he had given us uh, a time of peace and a time of, of, of balancing. No, I don't understand your workload, but God does. He does. And he does not want you to work yourself to death. And so I just speak uh, 
to you the wisdom of God and to ask him, ask God to just level it off for you. Yes, because you have good work ethics and you have good, um, you know, uh, things that you're doing. And God does not want to take that away from you, but he wants you to have that peace. One scripture I'd like to leave with you, Joshua 1, eight, and he told the warrior that was stepping in a place um, after uh, Moses was gone and he was stepping into a heavy job. He had been promoted into a very heavy, heavy place and a weighty place and a lot upon him, thousands of Israelites that he had to lead and rebellious people, people that um, were just uh, against him and jealous of him and just you name it, he had in all those thousands of Israelites that he was going to lead to a promised land. But God spoke to him and said, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to everything that's written thereof. For then I'm going to make your way prosperous and you're going to have good success. But it's going to come through meditating, meditating. So tonight as you prepare for your uh, bedtime, I just speak that you will just let that meditation just rest upon you. Just rest upon you. When the morning when it's time to get up, just take a little time just to lay there and just let Psalms 46 just flow from your mouth. Just flow and let him cover your day. And I guarantee you will have a precious, precious day because we do not want you to be weary in well-doing. We do not want you, but we want you to have peace and we want you to have rest. Amen. Well, God bless you. And I hope this just little exhortation uh, you can receive and that it will be a blessing to you, and God will keep you in his care. Amen. God bless you.